You know what I'm sick of? What are you sick of? I'm sick of AP tests that don't go through the plate. <laughs> I'm sick of those too. Well, we've got something today that might change that. I had better. So what is this thing? This is a PGM Hecate 2. This is the current uh, French military, mostly special forces, mm -hmm. uh, 50 cal anti-material slash sniper rifle. It is designed, according to the literature, to engage targets out to 1,800 meters. You mean belt buckles when we say anti-material, correct? Yes. Okay, anyways. So it is French. That's unusual for you. Uh, totally. Yeah. Uh, I believe this is the first time I've ever worked with a French rifle. Understood. So we've done a lot of these AP tests. We've got this, what is it? What's the dim dim dimensions of these plates? Uh, we have 3 8 inch steel plates. They are AR5, AR450 hardened steel. Mm -hmm. uh, and we got those through MOA targets, thanks to Mitch. If you're looking for cool armor targets, check out Mitch. And we've been trying forever now to get one of these cool AP rounds to go through two of those plates. Yeah, so three quarter inch total. Now, granted, two stacked three eighth inch plates are not the same as a single homogenous three quarter inch plate, yes. but that's what we've got. That's what we're gonna work with. And we've had a couple where we really thought, oh yeah, this will do it. And no, no, this won't do it. Well, and we've done it consistently. It's always been two stacked plates. So Correct. it's not like we've sometimes had different thickness plates. It's always been the same approach. Right. I really thought the 308 slap would do it. I still think it might yeah. if we didn't have age issues and tumbling of the slap yeah. projectile. I don't think those slap rounds were hitting those targets right. But so we've had a lot of stuff though. We've had 30-06 blat tip. We've had, we started off, you know, in range started not on armor plates, but doing observation ammo, B Patron and yep. PZ ammo, which is kind of an interesting exotic round. Yeah. So today we've got, we've got 50 BMG AP. We do. If this won't go through it, nah, then we have to like step it up to 25 millimeter pateau or something. Yeah, but that'll be an interesting test. I. Let's place bets. What do you think? Yes, I think it will go through. I think it will too. Yeah. Let's find out. All right. Black tip means AP. 50 BMG means big. Let's see what happens. It means a lot of destruction. Let's go see what happened. Hey, my stand! Your beautiful stand! Luckily, you know what happens when you make two stands? You make two more. Good so plan. we've got extras today. That's this, good. This is the first time the stand gave out, though, and it did not give <laughs> out from impact. It gave out just from pure blunt force. Yeah, it actually pulled the bolt through the wood, which is why it split. It shattered this. Like I blew the screws out the back. In fact, in the high speed, you can see this screw right here going, I'm free. <laughs> well, 50 BMG is not a joke, is it? Nope. We that, also- That went through. All the way through, cleanly. Oh yeah. Through. Yeah, that's... yeah, you might as well, who cares? Maybe. Don't need a wrench for this. There you go. Hey, that's my stand, man. I bought these and built these, you know. Have a little respect. The Hecate has no respect for your workmanship. We do have wrenches, but we're just doing this impromptu, so. Uh, we can't get a wrench in there anyway, because the nut oh, yeah, is right. embedded it's... in the two by four. I like that it was kind enough to leave the nut in the other one, though, so yeah. we still have the nut. So, All right, thank so, you. Let's take this one off. So, uh, whoa. There's our front plate. Easy, clean whoa. hit. All the way through, no problem. And there's our back plate. Easy, clean, whoa, no right problem. Through. I wonder if it would have gone through three. We've got, well, we don't have screws big enough to go to three, actually. No, we don't. Yeah. It might have. That might be, wow. <laughs> 50 BMG is serious. Yes, it is. And 50 BMG AP is even more serious. Yep. I wonder what ball would have done. We should try it with ball. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do this in reverse. Normally, we do ball as our baseline. Yeah. But this was such an easy victory. I mean, flawless victory in, <laughs> in uh, Mortal Kombat parlance, right? So let's go get the other stands that hopefully will make it through at least one more hit. Yeah. <laughs> uh. 
Um, and let's do just ball yeah. and see what we get with ball. We've got two other plates, so we won't, I mean, do we want to try to, no. Well, we could shoot Yeah, ball. we can just reuse them. Same plates. Yeah. We're going to work ball, so we're going to go in reverse. We'll do ball and see what ball does compared to, since API just like sail through like butter. Yeah. By the way, the reason this is so high is uh, this gun was zeroed for rather longer range than our we at? More like 30 yards. 30 yards. Yeah. Which is a little more than we normally do AP, but uh, it's a 50. It's not bore sighted for 30 yards, so yeah. it ended up a little high. So Well, I'll, I'll, I'll know to aim, aim at the bottom. I'll aim at 6 yeah. o'clock, even though it's crosshairs. Yeah. And let's, let's see what ball does, and we're going to do this in reverse. I, what do you think? I think ball will make it Oof. through a lot of it. Boy, I don't know. Here's what I think. It won't make it through. It's going to destroy the stand. Okay. That's what and I that think. Wouldn't, so that's, that seems a reasonable, yeah. Because the, the bullet's going to splatter. Yeah. And all that's going to just be blunt force into this wood stand that's going to shatter. So we're going to lose four stands today. All for you guys. Well, thanks, Patreon. Let's go see what happens. All right, just FMJ ball one plate. I don't think it's... be curious to see if FMJ ball is the equivalent of AP in a 30 cal, because we're only using one plate, but I think we're going to see stand damage. These seat like M14 mags. My stand broke. All right, it turns out that 50 BMG FMJ still is not AP against one plate. But it bent it a little bit. It, yeah, it divoted the plate. And it destroyed, it is absolutely anti-stand. Yeah. So if you want to destroy target stands, 50 BMG FMJ will do the job. You know, it's interesting, most of the time, mm -hmm. it would just say all previous times, what we have had to do is weight the stand in the back so that the, the impact doesn't push the stand backwards. Yeah. We did not really look into doing it more seriously on this, and what happened is the whole stand rocked up it's like we need to wait it. on the weight. We need to wait it in the front, uh, or like bolt the whole thing down. Which, like, we need to bring some concrete out <laughs> and and make a test stand out here in the desert. It goes to show you how much a difference from going to thirty cal to fifty cal in this type of round really just exponentially increases the oomph. Yeah, this is nuts. Yeah, but it didn't make it through. No. Nope. Well, let's take the plates off and let's go have some conclusions. Well, sacrible. All right, so that's the second plate. Yep. And man, you could look right through that. It's not for shooting anymore, it's just for looking through. I can see the camera through here. You know, it doesn't even look like it even, it doesn't even look smaller. It looks like it made exactly the same dimension hole. Yeah. So there's a good chance I might've gone through three. Yeah, I don't know what visual cues you have for, if there are any, for like, it barely went through this, mm. as opposed to it easily went through this. Well, um, I don't know. I'm a little surprised Ball didn't make it through one plate. I, honestly, I'm not. Really? Because the, the round's solid lead. It's a lot of solid lead, but it's <laughs> yes. its velocity is not that much different from 7.62 NATO. Fair. It's just like five times the mass. It's just gigantic. And so there's not that much to penetrate a hardened plate. It's just going to squish, which is exactly what it did. It did destroy the stand. It's like, how big of a hammer would you need to go through that plate? Like good, a no, really freaking big hammer. That's a good point. But a properly hardened steel nail right. would be a whole different thing. And that's exactly. exactly what you're doing. You have a hardened nail going through at a high velocity. Yeah. High enough velocity. So I have, like that. That was a lot of fun. We have finally found an AP test that made it through two plates. Yep. You know what I wonder is, and this is going historically historically here, is how this would have fared like we've done work before with the tank of air. Yeah. How would that have I mean this is the <sighs> we were talking about this. I mean the rounds based on the tank of air round, right? Yes. So yeah, fifty was developed from 13.2 German. Yep. Um, I've done, I did a half inch plate. Okay. Was it half inch? I remember yeah, it, was it, was a a, it was a long plate. time ago. Yeah. Um, because a half inch plate was the frontal armor of a World War One British Mark IV, Mark VI. Yep. One of the, the big British tanks. Yep. And yeah, at 50 yards, square on, it it went through that. Yeah. Um, the problem is original German 13.2 is extremely difficult to find. Yep. And we couldn't use a reload for it. Because no. what we need specifically is the AP projectile, and people don't reload that. Go figure. So, so that said, there's a lot of guys that would have wanted this rifle in World War One, uh, and yeah, World War Two, yeah, yeah, and today. 
Yeah. Which is why it's still being manufactured for what? The French Special Forces, you said. And a wide variety of other international security groups. Yeah. So where do I go buy one? Uh, this came very generously from JDI Firearms. They okay. are the U.S. importer. You can see their website at pgmprecisionusa.com, mm -hmm. where you cannot buy one of these. Cannot buy one of these. You cannot. Why is this? Uh, because PGM only sells these to law enforcement and military. Okay. So we have, this is JDI's demo gun, mm -hmm. and they sent it to us as a loaner. Sadly, I don't get to keep it. I would love to keep this. Sure, of course. Um, they do sell all of PGM's other products, though. Fair. Which include things like the Mini Hecate in 308, their Ludus in 338. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm curious. Mm. 338. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Now, this is where we could keep going with this ammo test. Is now that we know what 50 BMG does, what if we start backing off? but getting bigger than standard 30, well, so the thing is, standard, like, you know, standard battle cartridges. 50 BMG is such an old cartridge, it's really not optimum. Sure. I wonder if you didn't, if you can't get better armor penetration capabilities from something that is smaller diameter, higher velocity. Mm. So we need to find ourselves some like 338 Lapua Mag AP. That needs to happen. That said, you know what? You guys don't get to shoot this on camera, but I got to shoot this on camera, and it is amazing. First of all, obviously, there's a huge blast impulse, and you don't want to be at a 45-degree angle on either side of this gun. But firing it with both the ball and the AP, I will say this. The recoil is less than 308. It's a very comfortable The felt shoot. less recoil. Yeah. So that the reason is it's a big old heavy rifle. It is. Plus it's the muzzle brake. Kilos. It's got literally a tank brake. Yep. But comparing this to just a standard bolt-action 308, this is more mild to shoot. I would agree. Which is really cool. Well, Nito, thank you guys for letting us shoot this thing and finally having an AP test that went through two blades. Yeah, and now Carl has to go build some new stands before we can do anything else. On that note, <laughs> let, me, let me go ahead and say that. Those stands, these plates, and the 50 caliber ammunition, both the ball and the AP today, was all courtesy of Patreon supporters. That's because people like you that watch the channel support in range and pay for that kind of stuff for us to do stuff like this. So if you're already one of those people, Man, thank you so much. If you're not, please consider it. And if you can't be, just subscribe to one of our multiple distribution points. You can find them all at inrange.tv. Thanks for watching.